Hey guys, good morning. This is your naked dropshipper Ryan. So I'm here just starting the tutorial for Dishing. I spoke to Mark and Chrissy about doing one because it was it's easier just to give people some shots here and some short, quick, precise videos giving you detailed information on all the options that Dishing offers. Alright? So soon I'm going to hide my video and I'm just gonna take you through the dashboard to show you what the options are. And this is just our first video. In the next video, I will take you through one by one. I will take you through ending your subscription. So I'm going to start from the top and go all the way down. Right? So, actually, I'm going to start there. <laughs> I may start at the account because I don't want to go through actually ending my subscription. But yes, uh, I hope everyone is fine. Y'all are drop shipping. Y'all are making money. Uh, if not, continue educating yourselves. Be patient and it will happen. Like, I don't know if you've been following my videos, but I have started a month and what, maybe a week now, and I made four hundred dollars my first month. I had a hundred and thirty the other day, like last Friday, I think. So things are good. <laughs> so yeah, let me hide myself and let's get started. So I don't know, yeah, because I'm not okay. I don't need to be here. So I got this little cool leaf thing to follow my cursor. So it's easy for you to see where I am, right? Just gonna start quickly. So skip to bottom at the start here. So this is very valuable. It may seem trivial, but for example, you develop a my sellers list, you have 200 sellers, you want to tag one of them, this guy is at the top, you press select, which I will show you, but I'm just giving you the example. You would click the select box, and then you want to skip to the bottom to tag because you don't have to have to scroll through two, three hundred. It's gonna save you a couple seconds, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to optimize. That's why I'm doing the, the tutorial so that we can understand everything and be as quick and precise and and maximize with the issue. Okay, that's the first thing. And your description big and bold. I don't have to say anymore. If you need to end the description, you don't like the issue. Mark charge you crazy. Uh, you think we're all lying in the description <laughs> it's fine uh, so then we have on your right hand side here you see my account and logout so I work with Jack so my account is Jack.Ryan and then I can go into my account see my details edit what I need to edit and if I want to log out because I don't know you just want to log out to be safe or you have another account you want to sign into fine. right um, this home tab you could click it's just going to take you back to the home page then your dashboard, of course, you get your notifications on top here. So I need to check this. One in your account is configured to use business policies, but they are not set up in the issue. Fix or contact support. So any of the notifications that you have a problem with, what I recommend highly, and you can deal with yourself, you have a couple options. You could go to the Facebook group, you could comment on YouTube on one of the videos and ask Mark or anyone, or ideally you could actually contact support. So on the left hand side here, support is right here, support ticket. So what I would do is I would copy, I'd actually highlight, copy, paste it into the support ticket. When you open it, I will take you through that process another time. But yeah, it's giving you a quick break. So then going down, EPI status, right? So this shows the account that you're in and then how many days you have for your account again, right? Down here, this is your current API usage. You have 5,000 API credits a day. What are API credits if you don't know? API just refers to the source of you getting the information. So it takes two API credits to do any search, right? And let me be a little more specific. I have 500 items. I'm trying to search a, a seller with 500 items, right? The process of actually getting that information is going through the server to eBay to get the information and then bringing it back to the issue. So it takes two API accounts to do one search. So if you have 500 items that you're trying to do, then you're going to use a thousand API credits, right? You could go to my videos about optimizing that 5,000 because you don't want to find one seller with 5,000 items. You don't even complete the search because you don't have the API credits to complete it. And then you can't use the SGNI, the SGNI after because you need API credits to do each one of the functions, right? Of course, different functions will take API credits. But the most are taken by doing searches on sellers because of the number of items that they have. Right? Another tip, by the way. If you don't use API credits and you finish working for the day, 
use them out they reset every day like do a search randomly like just if you don't want to do the detailed search just click up a couple sellers and run a search on them when you come back it's gonna be in your research right let's go a little further down suggested items so these suggested items are just items that you have listed on the issue but you have not posted yet on eBay. So maybe you the item you saw on a really good item and you really want to post it but it's out of stock now and you're gonna check this even and stuff. You could actually complete all the information and then when it's back in stock when you check it, you could just come here. So you see the item image, the name of the item, you have the account name, and then you have the actions. So you can add to my eBay account. And you can edit suggestions. You can edit the listing or you can add straight to eBay, which is great. It saves time for when you have issues. Right? Uh, yeah. So let's go down. So before I go further, let's go just show the left out here. So this is just all the options that the issue offers. I actually have not used all. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to educate myself also. So it's going to work out for both of us. I. I will do the education while I do the videos. I'm going to educate myself first and then make the video as quick and precise as possible. Right? So, this gives you all the options get seller, mini spider, all the great things that the HD offers and makes life so easy for us. And then at the bottom here, we have the my research. So, as I said just now, like if you do research, when you're finishing, oh, I'm, I'm coming. When you do research, and <laughs> you and you say just finish it's gonna come down here just to show you what research that you have not used yet right so this shows the the seller that you did research on and the amount of items that you have not yet done anything with right uh you can also go to the my research tab and it will take you to the my research page and then just focus on the my research right uh yeah guys well, that's about it i'm i'm actually in columbia and this is kind of my task for what i mean I want to finish this tutorial for y'all. Also for my friends who find okay, they don't know when to go when you go to no BS job shipping on YouTube. This is gonna make it really easy. So I'm not gonna take long. Love you guys, happy job shipping. Uh have a wonderful day and continue making that money, travel the world. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon.